know, we did do a lot of great things. You know, we won races with both cars, we made the chase, we won the Pickford Championships, we won races with the Bush cars. We did all those things, but it's kind of like the stock market. When everybody's expecting a $50 dividend and they get a $10 dividend, they're not so happy. So w w even though we did make progress, we're not happy. So we changed things. So uh, we, uh, we moved some people around, we, we swapped some teams, some drivers. You know, we have a lot of great people, but it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube where you just got to keep twisting it and turning it. Kind of rename some people, you know, instead of having the crew chief slash crew chief, whatever, that uh, normally was responsible for, you know, one single race team that goes racing every week, which in history, that's the way it used to be in the past. Uh, well, now we've got uh, those responsibilities split up into three different ways, and that's the team director, the, the engineer, and the uh, car chief, which is that's the way it needs to be. We've grown the team. If we're going to compete with Hendrick and Roush, if we're going to contend for championships, we've got to We've got to get out there and, and, and get bigger. The guys that are on this team get along well. They work together well. They'll put in as many hours as they need to and dedication. And then, and then you have to perform. And if we can perform on Sundays and Saturday nights when, when we race the cup car, you know that's when it's going to show. My philosophy too is, is you never quit. You never give up. You know you can't do that. And I know that uh, for what UAW believes in, they've obviously showed that that's that's their mentality. You can't give up. You got to keep working. Uh, do whatever it takes, change wherever you got to change, make it better and be open-minded and, and pull together as one big group, one big team and override and overcome anything that's thrown at you. If you don't change what you're doing, somebody else will and they'll be ahead of you in, in, in whatever whatever you're doing, whether it's a business or racing. Well, changes are, it's kind of tough to deal with some of them because you have to relearn people, you have to relearn race cars and, and, and uh, the way that somebody puts a certain car together, the way they set it up, the way they do this and that. And I think that's something that you have to relearn. But if you're easy to get along with, if you work well with others and show them that you respect the, the job that they do, I think it's pretty easy to get to get used to a new team and to get used to a new race car. If, if everybody's gelling together and working together, then you can do that. Certainly, that change isn't always easy for everybody. But if you explain to people why you're changing and, and show them that you have a plan and that the old plan wasn't good enough, lots of times they, they'll buy into it and they'll support you. The UAW logo is a bunch of people holding hands, I mean, and that's the only way it's going to get fixed. Toyota's coming and, and they're going to be a tough competitor. They're, they're organized, they have a lot of racing experience, and they've got a ton of money. I have a, a special interest in this because I have a, a ton of UAW members and Dodge dealers that I've got to look out for and make sure that their interests are, are covered. you got to keep, there again, changing and, and making your team better to be the best, and, and whether that's Toyota coming in or not coming in, you know, that's not really the way I would look at it. I look at it as no matter who's in, in the sport or who, whatever business you're in, if you want to be the best, you got to continue on being the best. I'm proud to, to be part of the UAW. I'm proud that they're on our race car and, and hope that we can keep growing it and make it a bigger and better, you know, situation for, for both the team and, and the UAW. You know, but the bottom line is, you know, the buck stops here. It, it, it's not NASCAR's fault, it's not my crew guy's fault, it's not my driver's, it's not, the buck stops here. I'm responsible for the performance of those cars and, and I'm going to do everything in my power to, to get them fixed. I promised the, 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 the people at the UAW a long time ago that, that we would deliver them wins and championships and we've been able to deliver them wins but uh, I want to I wanna deliver them a championship and I think that, that growth is what it's going to take to do that.